question of power, isn't it? He'd had it long enough, now it was my turn. I'd never thought myself as a vengeful person, but right here, right now, that's what's on my mind. You learn a hell of a lot about yourself when you push to the edge of despair. Maybe I should just walk away, but the words of my dad played like a mantra on my mind. At that moment in time, his voice was all I could hear. Don't be like every other mug, son. Stand up and be counted. My dad, the working class hero. The only time he stood up and was counted was in the dolky. To him, work was a mug's game. Why bother when there's always someone waiting to put one over him? I didn't usually listen to the old lush, but I know now he was telling the truth. For some people, the truth tends to take a different form, mainly lies. I'm talking about Nigel, two BMWs hunt of course. My boss, or should I say, soon to be ex-boss. All the degrees and diplomas in the world couldn't prepare me for what he put me through. I was one of thousands, a graduate, wide-eyed, seeing nothing, and the hunts of this world knew it. Which is why I got the job. And hope sprung eternal, at least for a while. Hunt stressed I'd be part of a well-oiled machine. The company was going places. Getting the stateside contract would be a huge coup. My input would be critical. He added, milk, two and a half sugars. I wanted so much to be part of it, it hurt. I told myself I wouldn't be doing this forever. If I'd wanted to work with coffee, I'd have moved to fucking Brazil. And none of them were good enough for that hunt either. They were either too weak, too strong, too sweet, not sweet enough, too cold, and yesterday it was too hot. I couldn't believe it. on the edge of a nervous breakdown. <laughs> production assistant, that was my job, assisting with the production. And to my mind, that meant being part of the creative process. Things had to change. So I told Hunt. Office monkey see, office monkey do. But I wanted more than that. I'd spent four years at university honing my skills as a graphic designer. I could really make a difference if he just gave me a chance. He gave me until the morning to get my pitch together. Yes! Now I'd show him what I could really do. I'd delivered the goods. Hunt would realise I had too much ability to be a photocopying drone. Back to school, James. You've got a lot to learn. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to...
Fuck him anyway. My head hurt. So did my pride. Dad's words came back like a bullet. If I didn't make a stand, I'd have hunts walking over me my entire life. Hunt's big pitch was less than 24 hours away. I had to work fast. I've read Revenge is a dish best served cold, but not this time. Senna laxative. Mmm. A gentle laxative extracted from senna for the relief of constipation. Dose, adults and children over 12 years, one tablet at bedtime. Fuck that, he was getting a lot. Imagine him throwing it in my face. But all he said was, thanks. Unbelievable. Finally, he appreciated my work. I didn't give a shit. Hunt's saying would. I'd like to think that we both learned something valuable from this whole experience. Hunt will hopefully learn to treat people with a bit more respect. It doesn't matter how much cash you have or how many BMWs you own. A bit of courtesy doesn't break the bank. I know what you're thinking. Revenge is ultimately an empty exercise. However, at this moment, it feels bloody good. university was a waste of four years and I should change careers. Maybe I could make a living out of revenge, set up a revenge club or school and hire myself out as a consultant. Clearly I have a talent for this, as getting back Mr Hunt proves. You never know, you might even give me a reference. Hope springs eternal.